Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week, uh, for September 2024. Uh, you have this regeneration card and this happy, happy card. I love this card. Uh, she is like channeling happiness uh, into the top of her head. So a lot of you could be in a very happy position this month, or you could be finding a lot of happiness uh, this month, and it could be from anything, really. Uh, although you have this passion card, so it could be you kind of like working on one of your passions, or you could just be feeling more uh, passionate this month and obviously that would be a good thing uh, you start off you have two cards you have the queen of wands and the nine of wands uh, the world and the hangman showing up here in your first row so the queen of wands is about kind of like you, you being bold assertive uh, really going for the things that you want and the nine of wands would be about kind of like opening up to success and the nine of wands is also a card of course of you know not giving up so I think that it would be a great time for you to uh, really kind of not quit. <laughs> uh, don't give up on something that you want here, Cancer. You have amazing freaking cards. You have this Miracles or Endless card. I feel like you get this card with me, that Miracles or Endless card, like every time that I use um, this deck right here uh, that I can never remember the name of. Wisdom of the Oracle, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't remember. But, um, you, know, you know, again, you always. I, I'm pretty sure it's you that always gets that card with me. And so I think that it would be a great time for you to really push for the things that you want and desire in your life. Um, the Nine of Wands, like I said, is a card of boundaries, but Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, and he is about to do something that he's done before again. So, you know, this could be, you have a lot of love here. This could be you, like, opening up to love. It could also be you just taking the lead. You have the world and the Two of Wands. Uh, the world and definitely the two of wands is a card of taking the lead on something so this could be you like relaunching a project uh, it could be you uh, you know putting something out into the world again so if you've tried to you know launch a business or if you've tried to uh, be successful in the past this could be you giving it another shot in the world uh, would represent an accomplishment so this will say this would say that you will be successful if you try again so uh, again this looks really really good to me again if you want love i would get out into the world uh, with this energy you have the lovers you have the three of cups the king of cups knight of cups um you know that's that's all that stands out to me right now but uh, even the three of cups would represent like finding love through socializing or um through meeting new people so you know get out into the world uh, you have the hangman uh, the Hangman is all about new perspectives. I kind of, you're only the second reading that I'm doing so far uh, for this set of readings in September. I kind of have a feeling that pr probably everyone will get the Hangman. <laughs> uh, the reason I say that is because we just ended, you know, the Mercury retrograde, or, you know, depending on when where you are watching this video, uh, the retrograde might still be going on. But if you're watching it in September, uh, you know, or at the end of August, then the retrograde is over. Um, but what I would say is, you know, kind of like after a retrograde, uh, then we get all the clarity for from what we went through during the retrograde and that can definitely uh, provide some new perspectives on things that are going on in our lives so you know i kind of just feel like that hangman is very boring in your reading i feel it's just saying you're seeing things from a new perspective that's it so let's see uh, with the queen of wands and the nine of wands you have the empress so very attractive at this time cancer i would definitely get out there if you're looking for love uh, this is also an amazing card for abundance. And with the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Wands wanting to come out together there, I would say that if there is something that you are wanting to take the lead on, like a project, a business idea, a side hustle, um, just something for fun or something that will lead to any type of abundance that you could possibly imagine, then I feel like this reading is saying, like, go for it. You know, it looks like it is, you know, a very successful and abundant reading. We even go down to the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords would be a victory or a success coming in for you, so go for it. Uh, with the world, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, you know, you have a lot of these threes here, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Uh, this would represent, like, teamwork or uh, getting people to help you do something. So, you know, Three of Pentacles pretty much says teamwork makes a dream work. Three of Cups is your community or getting people in your community to help you. So I think it would be a great time to work on a team. Can't make this up. With the Hangman, we have the Hangman. So again, I think that this is just the basically the universe saying I meant what I said. Um, you could be kind of, um, you, know, you know, again, just seeing things from a new perspective in your life or you could be gaining a new perspective on something. Uh, this could also be a perspective uh, based off of like knowledge and wisdom as well we go king of swords king of swords uh going this way as well 
And the king of swords has the most knowledge and wisdom out of any of the kings. And it, this could say that, you know, you've done some introspection or you revisited some things and now you're using your knowledge and wisdom. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this passion card and this synchronicity card. So uh, it could be a very passionate time for you. It looks like it. You have this happy, happy card. The queen of wands, she follows her passions. The empress would only do things that she is passionate about. And she invites more passion into her life. So I think that, you know, following your heart, following your passions, of course, is always a good idea, especially at this time in the world. I think we all need to be doing this. So that's what I would do. I also feel like you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities uh, around a situation. Uh, for some of you, this is clearly about love. So you have the Knight of Cups here, you end with the King of Cups. It uh, could be a water sign, could be any sign, you know, general reading. But, you know, if you have a person um, that you are spending time with or like dating or something like that, or maybe you're dating multiple people, it's like I would pay attention to the synchronicities again because it's like probably one person, maybe you see you every time you hear from them or whatever, it's like 1111 or 444 or something like that. So, you know, and, th and that's just one example. It could be anything. It's like maybe, you know, I, I think we all have personal synchronicities. Like for some people, they see like a feather falling out of the sky or, you know, whatever the hell it is right? So whatever it is for you, you know, it could be anything. But if you're seeing synchronicities around a person, I would say uh, go for it. <laughs> Definitely looks good. You have this six of wands to the uh, king of cups, lovers, uh, three of cups even is a really good love card, uh, especially showing up in the good stuff. Ace of swords would be a victory. So I would go for it. Uh, you know, it could be a person who's like older than you with the King of Swords. Uh, could be someone who has like a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, King of Swords is sometimes a good person uh, to date. You know, it just depends. Um, sometimes I don't like the King of Swords. Sometimes I do. Uh, people always ask me, how do you decide what you like and you don't like, right? And so what I say is I when, when I read, I look at everything that's going on in the reading. I look at every single card. And as we can see, for the most part, the cards are very positive that are connected uh, to the king of swords so uh, that would tell me again and this is why i don't read reversals although you know people always ask why don't you read reversals i'm like well if you, if you pay attention i actually give reverse meanings like all the time every single reading so i read intuitively but you know again i think that this is a good person based off the surrounding cards uh, probably someone very successful six of wands uh, going down to the ace of swords probably someone who has clear communication is very clear straightforward uh, also could be a person who's very accomplished as well so uh you know there you go i feel like this could be a person uh, you also have the Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Pentacles, sorry. And the Queen of Pentacles is about resourcefulness or uh, gathering your resources. I, you know, you always get this card. I'm pretty sure it's you with me. And I think that, you know, it'd be a great time for you to pay attention uh, to where your money is going or what you're using your money for. Or it would also be good to pay attention to ways to make more money or uh, to Im improve your abundance in some way. So Queen of Pentacles is about resourcefulness, but she enters into a reading and she says, like, we need to be resourceful. We need to do things to do to do that, if that makes sense. Probably not. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Death card. Death card is a change or a transformation. Again, um, this could be, you know, you attracting a person who is undergoing a change or a transformation. Uh, this could also say that, um, you know, sometimes when I see the death card like this and then the lovers, uh, this tells me that this could be like two people who have, uh, you know, maybe over the last year or two gotten out of significant relationships and now they're coming together, you know, back together. And I kind of intuitively feel that, um, that you could be either you or both of you uh, or them <laughs> was in a significant relationship and is now open to receiving a new relationship. So if you want love, looks really good. Uh, here you go. With the King of Swords, you have the Queen of Cups, you showing up in a very strong position. So uh, we have the Queen and King of Cups here, Divine Counterparts. Uh, definitely a love reading. And so if you want love, there you go. Uh, if you don't want love, this would also be really good because, you know, the Queen of Cups kind of says that with that King of Swords that you have gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom in your life and you could be using that knowledge for success right here or for you know overcoming obstacles with the Ace of Swords or f having a victory. So again, really, really good. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, sorry I dropped it, uh, you have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is a never-ending nightmare. Nine of Swords is like going to bed, having a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in a nightmare. So a lot of you are 
probably looking to end a cycle with your finances with that queen of pentacles uh and again i think that there's probably you know i think your solution is simple because we have the king of swords to the ace of swords king of swords says you've been learning a lot about your finances maybe over the past few years the ace of swords would be the victory but you know the ace of swords cuts both ways so the ace of swords can sometimes say we need to cut one thing out so that we can have something better um or um the ace of swords is like laser like focus and it's like sometimes I've seen this, you know, I've worked with a ton of businesses in my day, in my other life, right? And, uh, you know, even uh, even now I work with like a ton of YouTubers as well. And, you know, I, I teach YouTube to people sometimes. And, um, you know, what I will say is I, I have just noticed over the years that when people are like super focused on one thing, not only do they get more done, but they're like not scattered. And it's like those people always make like 20 times more money than the people that are like trying to do everything that are like all over the place. So the Ace of Swords can say it would be a really good time for you to focus in and like double down on what's working, which I've been preaching for two years now because the astrology basically says that. People always say like, you keep repeating yourself. I'm like, well, why don't you do it yet? Also, it's like, I don't do this to hear myself talk. I do this because like literally I need to hear it also. So I do need to hear myself talk, but also number two, most people don't do it. They don't listen and they don't double down on what works and, and make sure that they're paying attention to what's working. So, you know, make sure to do it. Uh, you have this beaver spirit coming up in the area of the good stuff or um, messages from your future self. It says lay a solid foundation. You have this cr uh, cow spirit says the miracles are endless. So there clearly could be some uh, endless miracles entering into your life here. Uh, if you are starting a new connection, you know, the lay a solid foundation card would say, you know, obviously make sure to lay a solid foundation in a new connection. Uh, you have the Six of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ace of Swords. Definitely a really good row. Um, you know, the Six of Wands can be a victory or a success or a big win coming in for you. And we have a bunch of victory cards here. You know, this card mostly, uh, the world can be an accomplishment or an achievement. And we have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. So there could be some sort of win. Uh, it could be love for sure. So you, you could be attracting a person, you know, the lovers is like a divinely guided connection. So this could be some sort of divinely guided connection that's coming in for you. And, you know, again, I don't know, looks, looks really good to me. Uh, one thing I will say is that I do feel like someone is afraid of repeating a mistake with the nine of swords, whether it's you or a person that you're attracting. Um, so yeah, uh, take it how it resonates, but you know, I would just make sure that, you know, again, if it if it's not you and if it's the other person, um, you know, make sure they're not being too closed off. You know, I always tell people, it's like, sure, you can be attracting a soulmate or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, I don't care. I think all the labels are ridiculous, right? But, you know, you can attract whatever you want, but if they're not open, they're not open. And it's like, I, I think that the labels cause a lot of problems because I think people like think someone's their twin flame and they wait, wait and wait and wait and wait. It's like, no, there's someone ready for you right now. So, you know, I feel that this right here is saying, you know, have a, have, you know, if you meet a person, you like them, uh, open your mouth. You have the ace of swords, especially if they're not being open, right. And, you know, kind of get to the bottom of, of it. But if they're not willing to be open, then I think there are plenty of other options available for you. The Ace of Swords is a victory. Uh, Ace of Swords cuts both ways. I think the Ace of Swords is more talking about focus and focusing in on what is working in your life and really needing to, you know, obviously double down, down on that stuff. Uh, with the Six of Wands, here you go. You have the Ace of Swords again. <laughs> it's like every single reading I do for you has a million repeating cards in it. So there's your there's your first one. So Ace of Swords is a victory. There's clearly some sort of big victory coming in for you. Again, this could just be a thing where you 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 like a person and you find out that they like you back or vice versa. So you know it could be that type of victory. Uh, like I said, also, I think that doubling down on the good stuff, ha having that laser-like focus and not being spread too thin in work or business is also what the Ace of Swords, you know, that's what it's saying to me intuitively in this reading. You know, they, that's not really what the Ace of Swords represents, although it does represent focus. It can, um, you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, being too scattered or what, whatever I just said. Uh, with the lovers, you have the King of Wands. Uh, love it. Uh, I love that you have the King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Cups here. Uh, you know, to me, this would say that it has like a good heart connection, but it also has a good, like, there's a lot of desire in the connection as well. So it's like lusty and love, right? Together. is You know, to, it's not just one or the other. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. Can't make that up. <laughs> I literally said Nine of Wands on that, um, Oh, no, you do have the Nine of Wands. I think I said something about the Seven of Wands or whatever. I don't know what I was talking about, but I'm losing my mind today. But if you can't tell, 
cancer. And the Nine of Wands says, do not give up, right? Also the wounded warrior. So someone here is clearly wounded. It could be you because it's showing up, you know, in this part of the reading. And the Nine of Wands would say it is safe for you to like let your guard down and open up a little bit. You know, of course I wouldn't overinvest. I think that all water signs, you know, I think should be careful of kind of like giving too much up front. You know, make sure you're giving in, bal in, in balance. We really only get hurt when we overinvest, right? You know, if we're, if we're giving and then we wait for them to give and they give and then we kind of go back and forth and really you're not going to get hurt because you're matching energy. It's like we only get in trouble when we overgive and we're not matching energy. We overinvest and when we overinvest in things, we overvalue them. And when we do that, then we get hurt. So, you know, I think the nine of wands is saying it's safe to open up as long as you don't overinvest. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this, this exalted moon. It says self-regulation on it. You have this moon rise. It says cleansing on it. So yeah, maybe you need to regulate how much you are giving to anything, not just love, but you know, pretty much everything, right? You need to make sure you're not like over giving to things or under giving. It could also be a great time for healing with that cleansing card as well. Uh, you have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Uh, definitely could be attracting a very like emotionally balanced person. You have three kings here, so it's like you're almost attracting an emperor. You know, you have the empress, and we almost have the emperor showing up here. So, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you're, you're into either. You could be just attracting your counterpart, and we, we almost have all, three, all, all four kings. Uh, the King of Cups would be someone with very stable emotions. Uh, this could also be you on a personal level stabilizing your emotions, which, you know, obviously that would be a good thing. Uh, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration, and these women are celebrating this harvest that is happening around them here. So you, I, I, very abundant reading. I think that in general, it could be a great time for you to like celebrate your harvest. Uh, so whenever I see these cards like this of gratitude, I think that, it, you know, they're, like again, they are being grateful for the harvest or celebrating it. So if you are having any harvest at this time, like harvesting abundance or whatever, then I think celebrating it is a great way to expand it. It's like when you're grateful for it, you expand the energy, you attract more of it. So I would, you know, I think it would be a great time for you to do that. Uh, you have the two of wands. Two of wands is about taking the lead. I think you're just getting ready to take the lead in life. I, I feel a lot of your readings have been saying this. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in the uh, end of the year reading that I just did for you that I said, it, it also said something about kind of really, you know, taking the lead towards the things that you want. And so if you, I feel if you do that, you will get the things you want. Uh, this could also represent travel. You have the world, you also have the two of wands. So some of you could be like thinking about traveling or, you know, doing things like that. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard, uh, so make sure to do that. In the area of the good stuff, uh, sometimes I feel that the Two of Pentacles can be like a settlement. Uh, so I feel some of you could almost be getting a gift from the universe, and it could be uh, like a settlement. Or maybe you feel like you are kind of, it's like maybe it almost feels like you're getting a gift from the universe, even if it isn't. So, you know, there you go. Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Four of Cups. Uh, four of Cups in the good stuff, again, is saying you're being offered something that you want. You know, outside of the good stuff, the Four of Cups is, you know, this guy is disappointed with what he's being offered. But in the good stuff, it, you know, this to me would say that you're getting something you've asked for. You know, he has manifested these cups. So it's almost like you have you are manifesting what you've been asking for. Uh, with the Two of Wands, you have the Two of Wands, another repeating card. So this is definitely saying that it's time for you to kind of like take the lead in some area of your life. You have like four of these. Well, now you have five. And so now I have to take them all and see what they are. But um, you have all these monthly cards. I, I shuffled this deck very, very well. So pretty weird that you have all these monthly cards showing up here. Uh, you have this April card. It says flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. So maybe uh, you experienced a lesson in the month of April this year uh, where you did lower your standards. And now this is saying don't lower your standards, right? Uh, you have this January card and this four-leaf clover. It says great good fortune. I kind of feel that this is saying that you are going to be experiencing a good fortune between now and January. I don't think it's necessarily going to end uh, between you know by January. I just think that uh, sometimes when something like this comes up, I feel that it's th basically the universe is saying that between now and then, you need to understand that there's like extra luck for you. You have this miracles are endless card, the happy, happy card. So double down on the energy, like make sure to get more out of it. Uh, you have this August card and you also have this money path that says a, mo a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So again, we're in August right now. Uh, you might be watching this in September, but you know I think that if you have discovered any new paths financially, uh, these could be very good for you and could lead to a lot more money.
Uh, you have this March card and this unicorn. It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So I think that a lot of you could be uh, needing to use your intuition to make beneficial changes just in general. Uh, you have this November card and this horse. It says, short journey. So we saw a lot of travel coming up in this reading. And again, it could be the month of November uh, that you are traveling in in the future, which obviously makes sense. You know, if you're in the States, we have uh, Thanksgiving. And, you know, if you're not in the United States, then it could be for whatever reason you could possibly imagine. But this looks really good, Cancer. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.